Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. We all know how important vitamin D is for our bones. That is the standard line. Take in enough vitamin D, either get it naturally from the sun or take a supplement. You need vitamin D for strong bones. But vitamin D is also crucially important for our immune health and also our psychiatric mental health. And this isn't talked about anywhere nearly enough as it should be. And I wanted to make this video to highlight just how important vitamin D is for these other functions. And I'm going to share with you three studies. Number one, impact on immune health. A number of research studies have shown that low vitamin D levels can contribute to decreased immunity and increased risk of autoimmune diseases. Let me share this study with you here, published in the British Medical Journal in 2017. This was a very strong study, a systematic review and meta-analysis, including randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trials, and they found that vitamin D supplementation was safe and it protected against acute respiratory tract infection Overall, patients who are very vitamin D deficient and those not receiving bolus doses experience the most benefit. Number two, effect on mental health. A number of studies have shown that low vitamin D levels contribute to increased risk of depression and other mental health issues. Let me share this study with you, published in the British Journal of Psychiatry in 2013, which was also a systematic review and meta-analysis, and the researchers' analysis was consistent with the hypothesis that low vitamin D concentration is associated with depression. Number three, decreased cognitive function, particularly pertinent in the older population. Studies have shown that low vitamin D levels can contribute to an increased risk of neurodegenerative disorders, including dementia. And here's a study that was published in Alzheimer's Dementia Journal in 2023, so very recent. And what they found was that across all formulations, vitamin D exposure was associated with significantly longer dementia-free survival and lower dementia incidence. And their conclusion was vitamin D may be a potential agent for dementia prevention. So there you go then. I wanted to emphasize those three studies to highlight the importance of vitamin D for many different conditions. And there are lots of other illnesses and generalized symptoms for which vitamin D deficiency has been associated. Even general lethargy, feeling tired, not feeling good, strong association with low vitamin D levels. And how typical is it of our modern era and how the current medical establishment is so focused on expensive pharmacological interventions, so focused on expensive procedures, and we tend to miss low-hanging fruit? Why is this not a public health message, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, where vitamin D levels are low because people simply don't get enough sunlight? And this tends to affect many people at the extremes of age. It's worse in darker skin complexions who naturally need more vitamin D levels, but this should be something that everybody is aware of. What should your vitamin D level be? Well, there's some debate within the medical community. Previously, the minimum acceptable level was around 20, and the units we use are nanograms per milliliter. But now it's generally thought that level should be somewhere between 30 to 50. And I would advise everybody out there to have their vitamin D levels checked. I know there are some within the medical community who seem to think it's not very important. And if you have a doctor who thinks that vitamin D levels are not important and refuses to do blood tests on you, I seriously suggest firing them and find another doctor. Vitamin D levels are very, very important to check. Don't let anyone tell you that they are not. And many people need to take supplements, especially in the winter months when they're not getting enough sunlight. I'll make a video another time on specific supplementation strategies, how much you should take, etc. But for now, I would like you to remember the importance of vitamin D for mental health and immune health. This has been especially important to discuss over the last few years. And go get your levels checked if you haven't done recently. Thanks everyone for listening. Feel free to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on vitamin D and vitamin D supplementation. Check out my health academy. That link is down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. That really helps with the algorithm and getting these videos out there. Remember, huge segments of the medical establishment are unfortunately completely corrupted and they do not wake up every morning with you and your family's health and well-being in mind. Their primary goal is to make as much profit it as possible and to create a recurrent customer base so that they have repeat customers to profit from. 
Very sad indeed, but that is the way things are. So be wise to that. Take care, everyone. Stay strong, and we will speak again in the next video.